What's going on guys? Shrek and Guns here with a little bit different of a video today for you guys. Um, been super excited to get my hands on one of these. Um, between Dixon and Brownells both, um, they've made a pretty big hype about these coming out. Um, and I was fortunate enough to have the Brownells Edge program, so this showed up to my door in just a couple days. Excited to try it on here. Um, I just got it out of the package and what I can tell right away, I mean, just feeling it when I pulled it out of the package, it feels quality. It has some significant weight to it, more than I expected, but I would say that's just because it's a quality made item here. This is my first Dixon flannel. I've been eyeing them up for a while, just never got my hands on one until now. And when I saw they did a collaboration with Brownells, what better way than to introduce myself to the product. So we're going to take it out of the packaging here and take a look. As you can see here, Dixon Flannel Company with the Brownells logo on there. It's got Brownells on the pocket. And then also on the tag back here, Brownells Big Iron. As Dixon described it, it has revolver inspired blacks, grays, and brass in it. I just, the colors really pop for me. I don't wear flannels all the time, but when one has colors that appeal to me, I got to have it. Power's going out here. Pretty crappy day here. Temperature's good for December. It's in the 60s here in Pennsylvania, but windy and rainy. It was the last day of hunting season, which was pretty much a washout, but I did get out for a while. So yeah, I'm going to take the phone out of the holder here just so we can get some more close-ups of the features of this thing. I was told these run large, larger than normal flannels, so I normally wear a large in flannel, so I ordered a medium. I'm going to try it on here shortly and see if I was told correctly. And then I can advise you guys a little bit better if you're interested in getting one, one of these. Brownell still has some left in like small, medium, large. Sizes higher than that, I believe they're sold out of already. But if I recall last time that they did a collaboration with Dixon, there was a ton on eBay. You might pay a little bit more for it, but if this is something that you really like and you feel you need... I'd check there too. Dixon had these on their site as well, but I believe they sold out pretty quick too. They do limited runs like this and they don't hang around long. So yeah, this is a pretty cool shirt. Let me see if I can get this button. Oh, they're snaps. So yeah. Pretty sweet. You can just feel, I mean, it's not super heavy, like, to the feel, but you can just tell this is a quality made shirt. I'm going to pause the video here and go try it on and let you guys know if the fit is correct. All right, guys, let's try this on. All right, so yeah, definitely glad that I listened to the guys to size down. This is a medium, like I said earlier. I normally wear a large in a flannel and in t-shirts for the most part, somewhere between medium and large. But definitely glad I sized down because I kind of like the slimmer fit look. Now, if you were somebody that wanted to layer up and maybe wear something more than just a t-shirt under it, 
then maybe you can go with your traditional size, but as far as arm length for me and just overall fit and comfort, a size down is the way to go. I will put a link in the description to the shirts that are still available at Brownells. This is something that uh, tickles your fancy, appeals to you. I definitely suggest getting one. Thanks, guys.